Okay, guys, welcome. Let's continue going through the Bible. The last class, we went through the main body right here, the middle body right here. And let's continue. Let's look at the back wheel. For the back wheel, this is what we have. We have uh, a sphere for the back wheel and the inner tube. The inner tube is a copy from the front. Obviously, you can use the front one for the back. Let's look at the main back wheel right now. Let's jump in. Okay, so it don't look bad. You know, the same nose repetition of edit and blast and poly spray and poly extrude, you know, as usual. So let's go through real quick. Okay, so let's hide others and see what we have. It's very simple, but it has some little details going on over here. And it also have a panel, you know, going through top here, you know. So how was this made, okay? I know by now you guys can, you know, drop in a sphere and create something simple like this, okay? But let's go through quick and see what's going on here, okay? So we have a sphere for the beginning, you know, and the columns 32 and 20, very simple, you know, matching our polygons or our um, topology, right? Try to match our topology because the thing is since we have, um, we have this topology going on, you don't wanna have another object with, you know, a huge topology and it's now matching. So, you know, you're trying to be uniform, okay? So the 32 and 20 is, is good to match it, all right? So what else did we do after we have this sphere going on? It's the same procedure, right? We blast the node, we delete some part of it, okay? With this sphere, I was only working on one side, you know, I just deleted one side and leave because I know I will mirror it, right? So what else did I do? I did some edits. I selected the edges and I push it in, you know. I push it in. You can see the edges right here that being selected with the, the yellow edge and I push it in. So if I come back here, I take this off, you see it's pushed in, giving it a flat face, you know, for the bike, okay? So these are very simple. When you sit on it, you these things will come in your mind and you start rolling, okay? So then what did I do? I clipped it, you know, I cut it into half because I wanna only work on one side and I will mirror, okay? What, what else did I do? And then I mirror it, okay, you see, it's looking good right now, we having some bike shape going on. And then what did I do? I started thinking about designing the shape up here, right? So, you know, I have to cut some lines up here. So you see, have the poly spread, you know, to draw the line, okay? So in the middle here, I cut one here and all the way to this side. There's some more, one on this side, more cut, see trying to get a shape out pull out okay so you can see that there's some more polygons coming up then i select the ones i need and what did i do i pull the poly polygons up to have this shape that i'm looking for because as you can see the bike have they have this shape going on to match the hatchback, okay, because the hatchback have some design up here. So we're trying to get that matching the, the back wheel, okay. So as you are modeling, 
the design is in your head, you know. So all this stuff you decide to make because if if the picture you are looking at have something here, you don't want to do stuff here unless you're trying to create something different, right? So this stuff are also in the bike, the actual bike, you know. So that is how you will figure how you will create that same type of design, all right? Did more edit. I push it down. I push the metal down. Very simple. Just select them and go to the points. So from here, I push these points down. This metal points was pushed down. So if I come here, you see, you can see the ghost old line was here. And then I'll, I'll push them down. Okay. See, these angles was pushed down to have this indent, the flow like that. Very simple. So I can even count the points that I move. This point and this point, two points. And the middle, middle two a little bit down. So very simple. So I have that edit going on. What else did I do? And then I did poly bevel because I'm trying to get a panel, okay? You guys already know the panel, right? So these are the lines. This is the, the panel, the panel poly bevel, okay? So right now it gives you three lines. I know you guys remember to make a panel, if you have these three lines, what do you do? Very simple, you push the middle line down. You when you push it down, then you have that indent giving you the look as a panel. So you're going to achieve that with what? With an edit node. Okay, you see? So the, the middle line was pushed down, you know, giving it this indent. And it's showing like what? Like a panel going through the object. Very cool and simple. So very little things then you are you are getting on on the shape you want you know it's it's not like you're gonna do too much it's very little things that you will do then you have the shape you want okay so we have the panel going on what else did i do see it wasn't that much going on so it's done so this side is done so i i, I did what brought in the normals we talk about normals to smooth the surface so if i bring it here see the surface change a little bit smoothing stuff and it's looking better right now so that is how this back wheel was was also made very simple you know then you see it over here okay so let's go back and see what else we can look through. Okay, so now we see how this back wheel was done. The inner tube is a copy from the front, right? So we see the main bike is very simple. All right, so maybe we can check, we can check the, the motor right now. It's very simple too, you know, it's not too much going on. So where is the motor? The motor is here, you know. It's many over here, it looks like it's a lot over here, but it's just three parts, okay? This is the other side, the right and the left. So when we look through, when we look through the left side, it's the same as the right, okay? So we don't have to look through the right. So. Let's see, let's jump into this one, okay? Let's hide all this. See, this, this is the cover. I, I have a glass shade for it. That's why it's looking like that. So let's see how it was started, right? We have a sphere that I use. What did I do to the sphere? Okay, let's see what's going on. Some edit going on. Dissolve, I dissolve or I deleted part of the polygons. Okay. More dissolve, you know, trying to get a shape that I want. More edit. See, 
So I'm getting dash a polysprate. I divided the middle part, you know, more polysprate to get all the part because I wanted some division because I'm going to put, I'm going to put some in and some out, you know, creating something like a motor or some engine thing. See, and then more than what did I do? Edit, moving stuff around. And that's about it. To get that round shape, you know, by moving the points around, okay? Then the material, see? So it's giving it that cover. So there's not much going on. Just that we want to cover the motto with this curved shape. So we're trying to get that shape, you know, and you have to see the engine or the motor from, from this cover, you know. So that glass um, shape gives transparency that we need. That gla glass shade give, give us that. You see, tinted glass shade is over here. That's what I use. So you can see through what's going on. Okay? Very simple. So then the material is here. And then the material, you know, at the, at the end of the edit, it didn't have material. Let me take the material out. Okay, and I, I bring the display here. You see, it's still, you know, the shade, the, the regular shade that is on it. Okay, so to get that tinted glass material here to work on it, it's already here at, at our material section, right? So we have to figure how we can use that because I already use it on something. So how you are able to use a material out here, you come to the, st the, the object you are working on, right? And you call for, you call for a material node and you add a material node to it, boom, see? So that allow you to go in. When I go into the materials and I come up here, I'm able to select all the materials I have in my project, okay? And it's here, and this is the tinted glass material. So I select it, and then I accept, you know? So if I bring the display here, then it works on your regular shaded object. So it gives you the glass look-through shade that you want. Then I, as usual, I added the normal to it, okay? giving it this glass look through shape, all right? Very cool. So, so we have that. So let's go back quick. The motor engine one. You see, this is also very simple. Just a matter of creating the shape and deleting part of it Actually, let's see how I started with it. I think I started with something similar like the sphere. See, the same thing. I stretch the sphere to give you this shape. I stretch it, right? You know, by edit, you know, I move stuff around, dissolve, I delete a part of it. You know, you guys know how all these knows that you see deleting more part get what i want edit moving moving to get a shape that i want because you know we have an area we want it to show so you don't want to like get you know too big or small right you have to match that area so more edit okay more edit Getting it's looking similar like um 
the glass tinted cover, right? But this have some, you know, I move some points around, okay? You see this line, this, you see this line right here? This line is supposed to be the same, but I move the points around to get some shape inside. You see there's some shape going on inside. So let's see how it's going. See, then I selected the middle part of it and I poly extrude it. See, see, so I, I move this part up, you know, giving it this shape, right? Very simple. And then more poly extrude, you know, thickness. I deleted part of it. See, all this blue part is deleted, right? See, here it's deleted. So trying to get something like an engine, a motor, you can you can come out with anything. This is something quick that came into my mind. But the bike, you also look at the original bike. The engine have something like this going on, right? Then I deleted some more, right? You see? And then more delete and edit. So to get something like this. Yeah. Then I, I did as usual the normals to smooth stuff. Okay. Then you have something looking like a moto, all right, with with the glass tinted covering it, you know. So you, you, you just have to be creative, you know, it's very little things, you see. The original bike looked like something like this, but I wasn't trying to get the same design. But, you know, you, if you can create something looking similar, that's fine, depending on what you're going to use this, this project for, okay? 